Requested for Jerome. How was uh, how was playing center? The adjustment it took and how long it take you to get to a comfortable. Uh, it was good. Uh, you know what I'm saying. It's always needed. It's always good to uh, you know what I'm saying bump up and play center. Uh, it talks to my uh, versatility being able to play guard and play center. Uh, you know what I'm saying. So the center, uh, the coaches always want uh, always harped on it being versatile, playing multiple positions, cross training. So just did a good job in that. Adjusting uh, first half was kind of kind of shocked that at first and then got comfortable and kept rolling. So. What's, What's the, the biggest challenge there? Biggest, the biggest challenge. Guard to center. Yeah. Biggest uh, challenge. Just make sure uh, tempo. Uh, our coaches harped on it. It was kind of too slow, and uh, yeah, it was slow. They said it was slow, so uh, we gotta go fast. We gotta push tempo faster, even more. And so uh, the center, that's the main, this center's main job is pushing tempo. So I do a better job with that. What can you say about Ollie? Whenever he came in, and just kind of the way he filled that role. Uh, Ollie played well, uh, especially coming in, just like that. Um, he did a really, uh, really well job. Uh, it was good. You know, Ollie's been here for a long time, so uh, it, was, it was great finally seeing him in there uh, playing some quality reps. Well, when you're the center. When one play ends, going from one play to the next, what's your responsibilities in that window? Uh, usually, I uh, find a uh, side judge, get my feet set, make sure uh, the mind set uh, with me, and then get down, get the play call, declare, and then rock and roll. Is there anything you have to check, or is it just when you get it, you're good? You when I get it, I'm good to go. Did you guys know that Ollie would be the first one out if that scenario came about and you needed to slide over? Uh, not, not in the heat of the moment. I didn't. Uh, we didn't know. Uh, really didn't know who we got hurt. At the time, just going so fast, but um, I mean, Ali came in, he stepped up, and uh, played well. So. How much are you, even though you guys won, how much are you, you kind of, you know, uh, thinking about those holding calls? Oh yes, um, you know, this is most of the stuff we had to prove on from Saturday mm -hmm. uh, or Thursday. I'm sorry, but just um, overall, just make sure like everything was flowing well. Uh, make sure the communication was well, even with new guys in. It should matter whoever's in the game. Communication should always be on point. So this is the thing we had a hard time. Come, you got off to a great start, scoring two touchdowns, two possessions, mm -hmm. and then you had a lull in the second yeah. quarter. What what happened? Um, I was just, I would say, more of like I said earlier, tempo, uh, pushing the tempo, uh, make sure communication. Just I like harped on communication had to be on point uh, with all five guys, uh, and this is things we had to improve on. That's why I feel like kind of slowed down our. Uh, a little pace. What, what did you think of the start of the second half when you just ran it right down their throat? Uh, coaches, uh, all our coaches came back with great adjustments, and uh, they drew it up just how how we should be blocking it, and uh, we went and we actually executed. And so I feel like that's the main thing that parked on, and that's why I think we did well coming out of the second half. What have you learned so far about that fifth defense? Uh, Especially they, front. Yeah, they they play hard. Uh, they're a physical group, a uh, very good group, uh, and it, we have a very big challenge in front of us. So. And we're here to step up to play and uh, accept it. When there's a play where you get a, a holding call called on you, do you almost think like there's no way they're going to call me on the next play too? <laughs> well, uh, I really wasn't worried about. It. I was just trying to play hard. Uh, but that is on me. I had to improve. I had to improve my technique. Improve, get my hands aside, and improve, even finishing more. So, uh, so, so you didn't think you had like a hall pass for the next play or something because he just got you? No, I didn't. I, I was just trying to play. I was just trying to play hard. So. What did you guys do from Coach Alberti after that first game? To kind of what he thought of, of that first outing? Um, he said we played. He played okay. Uh, he, really, he really hard on tempo. He said we played slow, so uh, we we got pushed tempo faster. Uh, that was the main thing he harped on, uh, as well as communication, making sure there's no there's no drop off when somebody goes down. So make sure all everything's good, snap good, communication, and uh, finishing. So really harped on. What do you think of Joe Milton running this offense? Uh, Joe did pretty well. Uh, definitely, he has some things that he has to fix. Uh, but I mean, overall, he, I mean, he played pretty well. Um, he's definitely gonna get better as the season goes on, as as we as it gets more reps and stuff like that. So I think he's done a good job. How did the offensive line grade out? Uh, we grade out well. Well, to me, I, I say we had a C plus. I mean, anytime you run for over 300 yards, I mean, it's a, it's a good day. Uh, but it's definitely some things we get, we have stuff to fix, especially against uh, Pitt coming in, coming into Knoxville. So it's a good group up front. So we have to be all dialed in. What do you need to fix in um, particular? Mostly just like I said, communication. Uh, make sure we're, make sure the spot's good. Where we where we're going, where we're declared at, and make sure we're on point. Everything's on track, and everything's um, all on the same page. We're all on the same page. That's the main thing we need to worry about. So y'all usually do go faster than that in practice, then? Uh, yeah, yes, we can go faster than practice. Uh, and some of that too was the referees stopping it, trying to make sure everything was good. Make sure that uh, if there were those guys that were hurt or anything, they were slowing down, which they kind of. 
kind of sucks on our end, but I mean, you still have to push tempo, so uh, it can be way faster. They, they made it known. I was going to say, whenever they slow it down like that, like having to adjust ball placement and stuff like that, um, how much more urgency does that give you guys whenever you are able to go to, to get to the line even faster? Uh, yeah, just like you said, so whenever they, whenever it is like a dead ball or anything, we make sure we're lined up, make sure we're seeing the front, uh, if they're lined up at all. Uh, and kind of gives a head start of what we're going to do already. We might have to play already, or we might not. And if not, um, we line up, get the play called in, and make the player. So it'll still be, it'll still be fast. Co Coach Apple said yesterday that uh, Pittsburgh's defense will do things to try to create mismatches in their pass rush to try to confuse you guys. Have you seen on film maybe what some of that stuff is? Oh uh, Yeah, they do a very good job, uh, especially on third down, uh, especially third and long. They do a good job. They have a good third, blitz, uh, blitz package for their third and long. So, uh, they do a lot of things to try to confuse the protection, try to make you uh, have MAs up front. And so we have to do a good job of staying on the same page, make sure we have the right to clear it, make sure our eyes are good, and our eyes are in the right place, our eyes are attracting the right guys, and uh, make sure Joe's protected. A lot of teams script plays to start a game. Is that something that you guys do as well? And could that have attributed to your success early on? Um, yeah, usually when you go to the game, you have, you have opening plays, you have mm -hmm. some, some uh, plays that you already have set. And then once after that, I mean, the coaches are calling it. So yeah, we have openers. You think Bowling Green got tired on Bowling. defense? Did they get tired any? Yeah, I feel like they got tired. Uh, well, I feel like uh, every defense we're going to play will get tired, uh, especially at the tempo of fast places we need to go. And uh, I mean, even us going even faster will make them even more tired. So we, we had to harp on tempo even more. Did you see any evidence from Bowling Green defensive players that they were tired? Yeah, uh, some of the plays they weren't lined up. Some of the plays they were still looking to the sideline to get the call. Some of them were still communicating. So when you see this, it's always good. When you see they actually want to go faster. So. I'm going to catch my guard. How surprised were you that you guys ran the ball 64 times? I mean, did you know this offense was capable of being that run heavy, or was that surprising? Uh, I, I did not know that. I didn't know. Uh, but, I mean, it just goes on. We get called, we go we line it down, we go play ball. So, uh, they just, in terms of Coach Hypo and Coach uh, Goldish and their offense, so um, they set it out, we can go do it. Cedric told us that the Bowling Green defense, that some of their guys told you that they were, you know, getting tired from how fast you were moving. Really, did you get any of those comments from their D-linemen? Uh, I didn't hear any of that from their D-linemen, but uh, they definitely, body language spoke a lot. So um, we had to keep harping on the tempo, keep making it even faster. Thanks, Jerome. Thanks, Jerome. Okay.